morning students in this session try to solve one problem on isometric projections so let us read the problem a hexagonal prism okay hexagonal prism okay. hexagonal prism 30 mm side and the axis mm 60 mm rest on hp with two base edges parallel to bp rest on hp Indirectly, it is saying that at its end, that is base lying on HP with two base edges parallel to BP. So this orientation. Okay, this time. So this face and this face being parallel to the vertical plane. It is cut by a section plane. Perpendicular to the BP and inclined at 50 degrees to the HP. So inclined at HP. Therefore, theta is given. So section takes place in the front view. Bisecting the axis of the prism. Axis is bisecting the axis of the prism. Bisecting means dividing into two equal halves. Middle point, the section plane is going to cross. So Draw the isometric view of the truncated prism. Let us solve. Okay. So first what we have to do is, first we have to draw the orthographic projection. The top view and front view of the solid. So here top view means, top view only the hexagon is visible. The front view looks like a rectangle. So let us draw the front and top view. So first what we have to do is, first we have to draw the reference line. Okay. So reference line. X, Y. Then I am going to draw the hexagon. Okay, hexagon. So we draw the hexagon with two sides parallel to the x y. Let us name it. I name the top corners as A, B, E, and F, and the bottom corners I name it as P, hidden corners. So when we finish the top view, next project the front view.
Okay, we finish the top and front views. Let us mark the points over here. This point is here that. Okay, just we finish the top and front views. Next, we try to draw the section plane. Section line. So section line bisects the axis, bisecting the axis, dividing into two equal segments. That means this is an axis, right? So the length is 60 millimeter. Then I divide into two type of okay, midpoint. So I put mark on the midpoint. Then I draw one horizontal. Line. Then what is the angle it makes with the horizontal plane? It makes 50 degree with the horizontal plane. So I mark 50 degree from this edge. 50 degree with the horizontal plane. Just draw the section. Vertical trace. Then section points 1 point, 2 point, 3, 4 places section happens. So this point we have two edges. Now we try to project in the top view. Then if we project in the top view, we will see so it is meeting at two points. That means at A B and A. So here we have two points. So here the point is one visible point. So back it is hidden point. Then go to next point here. Here also we have two edges. One edge QB and another edge UF. QB is visible edge. UF is hidden edge. So hidden visible point I put number. So this is one dash. So this point two dash. So here also three dash. Here also we have two points right so we are projecting to the top view so it meet at two points so cd and d so the cd is the visible point i put marking number for that for that then we have hidden edges hidden edges hidden points here this five dash six dash seven dash and eight so totally we have Eight section points. Then darken the visible edges, remaining portion. So we are moving this side. So we are going to draw the isometric view about this side. Ah. Then here the object. Make such thirty mm huh? by setting the axis, and also the angle is fifty degrees. So this and all very important. Then go for drawing isometric view. Isometric view, right? Isometric view is asked. So what we have to do is. First, we have to enclose the top view in a box, right? Enclose the top view in a box. I enclose it. Yes, I enclosed the top view in a box. So, for visibility, I make it dark. Okay. 
so we complete the ribs then view side so we have to view from this side then only the section edges will be visible okay so here so i name it as l and this point is m this point is l this point is o then for drawing the isometric view first we have to draw one horizontal line is it draw one horizontal line and one point then keep the protractor here mark the degrees on either side so that will be here also that will be So here is this. This point is L. So this point is L. This side is this L O. This is L O. Okay. So here the person is angle also thirty degree, and here also the mark thirty degree. Then what we have to do is just measure the length L O. Then what we have to do? Just we draw line parallel to this side. This edge. Then similarly we draw parallel to this side. This side. So otherwise, what we can do? The help of compass. the help of compass first type mark as a reset and from here draw up then this is the reset so you got the point completed this box then what we can do is just from o to b the distance i mark it with this compass so here from o to l o to l i have said so this point is our This point is our Q. So next, then so and we listen that. So this edge, this point, and this point are same. Okay. So here we will mark. So similarly, we can mark over here also. So this point is U. So this distance and this distance are same. So here, here. So this point is our R. This point is our T. 
टी लेट गो फॉर दिस डिस्टेंस टू दिस टू और से Okay, so bottom base edge we completed. Then we project. We need to find this. So we use easy method. So what we can do is just we need to mark this point, right? A dash. That's all. Then B and no, A F R not needed. Only A dash is needed. So how to find A dash? So A dash is from P to A dash. So project P to A dash, right? P to A dash. Then measure the length. Point is over. Yeah, we found yeah first. Then we need to find one, two, three, four, etc., etc. Then for one, what we can do? For one, for one, what we can do is just draw example. And vertical. So here also we can draw horizontal vertical. So we draw horizontal vertical. Horizontal vertical. Okay. So here the point is one nine. This point is eight. So here four and five. So this point is five. This point is four. Then one two is here. Three is here, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we need to locate. Already we located two in B, three in C. So three. So we need one, four, five, and eight. So for one, what we can do is. So here one the distance. The same distance, right? Four to L. Or two, L. Or two, L. So okay. So here very easy. Means crosses the edge at this point. So this point is. One nine eight. So this point is our one. So we start one. This is one. This point is eight. Okay. So two means come here. Three means at R. Four means four. We measure the distance from this. We measure the distance from this. L two. L to this distance, I mark here. Same distance. So the, this also meet at two points. So these points are four and five. So this point is six. So this point is seven. 
So okay, we mark one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then just project. Okay, just project all the section points towards upwards. So I project first one, then two. Then we mark the distances one that one ninety eight here. So one and this point is eight, right? Eight. So this point is our one. This is our eight. Then the height of two and seven. Two and seven. Two and seven. Two and seven. Then height of this point. Three and five. Three and six. So from three. From six. Three and six. So this point is our three. This point is our six. So we completed everything. First, what we can draw is just draw the section points. One, two. Connect one, two. Then two, three. Three, four, four, five, five and six. Six, seven, seven, eight. Once again, eight two. So section complete. Then we need to draw A, right? A. So this point is A. From this, we draw the lines A to A and A to A to one. Then go for face edges, left to most edge. Right most edge, left to most edge is this one, right? Yes, this is two. Right most edge is this. Then after this, complete everything. Two, two. Three. Right? Have any other edge? No, that's all. So we completed everything. That's all. This is our isometric view of the truncated hexagonal prism. Okay.